This video has been sponsored by Dragon Ball Fever. More about it later down in the video. In the last part, Goku, Bulma, Vegeta, Gohan and Krillin travel to Namek and fight it out against the Frieza Force. After successfully getting rid of the Ginyu Force, only Ginyu remained, who made things difficult. After all that, Bulma confessed to Vegeta by kissing him, but that was a very short lived because Frieza came by to ruin everything. In this part, we discuss the Frieza saga and his eventual downfall, so let's continue. The fight between Bulma and Frieza begin and Frieza looks at Bulma like she's crazy, calling her out too for the same reason. Though he shut up the second Bulma came up to him, packed him in his jaw and then gave him a solid gut kick through two mountains. That managed to damage Frieza quite well but that wasn't all as Bulma came up from behind and sledgehammered him to the ground. Frieza grew tired of the Saiyan surpassing him out of nowhere at this point so he jumped the form again into his third form. But Bulma just looked onto him menacingly. Just like how he jumped the third form, she jumped him and made him be a new puzzle piece of dynamic soil. Frieza was tossed around like a pebble for the vast majority of this battle, but not everything was fine. Frieza got so infuriated that he began powering up once again. That threw Vegeta off yet again as well as everyone else. Bulma, still thinking Vegeta is cooked from before, doesn't care one bit and lets him power up to teach him a lesson again. However, fuck around and find out on Bulma came around and once Frieza finishes his new and final transformation, Goku is concerned, knowing Frieza is holding back a lot and doesn't want Bulma to get hurt. Bulma doesn't give a fuck though and dashes towards Frieza, only for him to catch her hands and throw her to the ground. The throw wasn't hard so Bulma comes back with her power surge and attempts to land a punch, which she does. Freeze is completely confused as to how does the bitch manage to go one step above every time, so he goes 20% and packs her up like an overnight part from Japan. Dad does the trick and Goku steps in, using his Kaioken to go and fight Freeza. I'll stop now. Sponsorship, didn't you? Oh, he thought you were slick, huh? Don't let him skip the sponsorship. Oh, I ain't letting him. I was paid good money for it. You can sit through it. Dragon Ball Fever is a fan comic done by Norlight. It's about a girl that has been saved from Red Ribbon Army by Goku Black. Now please support the artist and check out the link in the description below. And now you can continue watching. Bulma has been completely pummeled to the ground, not being able to move an inch and having a few broken bones on top of that. Then they came by to heal Bulma up but Bulma said it's fine and that she can still fight. Though that quickly backslashed and she fell down like a house built from playing cards. That was the cue for Dende to go and heal her up while Goku went and battled Frieza. Goku is already putting out full power of his 20 times Kaioken but Frieza is putting him down. Gohan and Vegeta also tag along and battle Frieza, but it's in vain. In no time, all three get sent to meet the ground. Piccolo, who's been conveniently revived in the background, asks Goku if he has something in his arsenal. Goku does say he has something, but he needs time to charge it. Bulma and Piccolo offer to distract, while Frieza in the meantime goes and fights Vegeta, which is a one-sided battle and Bulma takes that opportunity. Although she's a little bit stronger from just getting Zenkai, it does nothing and she's cast away. Vegeta is then shot down and Vegeta is holding on for his dear life to tell Goku to defeat Frieza. Bulma is looking on to see Vegeta about to die and runs up to him to see if she can do anything to help. Vegeta tells her that he wishes that they spent a bit more time together but if this is his race's fate, he will embrace it. Then with his last breath, telling her that he actually loved her. Despite her best efforts, she cannot do anything and tells the now dead him that she loves him too and starts crying out of anger. That begins to form clouds over her as well as lightning all around. Her eyes go white as she rushes Frieza, bursting a golden aura and her hair spiking a bit. With that power up, we witness the first sign of a Super Saiyan transformation. Bulma lands a pretty hard knee to Frieza's gut and that was the first proper blow anyone has landed on Frieza since he went into his final form. Bulma isn't done yet and swings her foot all the way back and tries to kick Frieza, 
or Frieza blocks it. He's currently powered up to 50% and is trying his best against Bulma, but as Bulma is getting the hang of herself, her power is slowly going away. Just in time, Goku screams for Bulma to get out of the way and Bulma gets to her senses. Frieza also tries to get away, but Bulma then remembers how she has power surges and uses it on Frieza to give Frieza a concussion. However, her powers also fade out quicker and Bulma is now worn out. As a last ditch effort, she grabs a hold of Frieza from the back and tells Goku to throw the spirit bomb. Goku is hesitant to do so at first, seeing Bulma mentally unstable from witnessing the death of Vegeta, but Goku then screams out a sorry and throws the spirit bomb at both of them. As a last resort, Bulma remembers Vegeta dying and does one more power up into false Super Saiyan and charges at the spirit bomb along with Frieza, catching them both in it. Bulma then flies out of it and faints, going back to base while Frieza is in the middle of, of a massive key ball. Spirit Bomb explodes and everyone is thrown back by the intensity of the key attack. Bulma lands into Krillin's hands all tapped out and in major pain. Goku goes on all fours and is at ease that Frieza is killed, with Krillin limping out with Bulma, as well as Piccolo and Gohan coming along. Bulma awakens and apologizes to Goku for being so weak, but Goku understands considering how strong Frieza was. Was is a massive cap on their end as Bulma gets struck down and is barely alive at this point. Frieza aims at Krillin and shoots a ki at him, pulling him up in the air and exploding him. But Goku already started his transformation. Goku is quicker with it than in canon though. Goku is now a real Super Saiyan this time and he tells Gohan and Piccolo to take Bulma and get out of there. Piccolo still has a grudge towards Bulma a bit, so Gohan takes Bulma and they go to the ship Goku came in to go off planet. The canon events evolve pretty much similarly from here and Goku just narrowly escapes the planet's destruction. Bulma and the rest have been brought to Earth using Dragon Balls and Bulma is healed up, as well as everyone else. Bulma wakes up to see Vegeta right in front of her, arms crossed and waiting for her to wake up. Bulma's first thought is to go to Vegeta and hug him, but Saiyan instincts get her to gut punch him and so with that, the lover sparring session begins, while everyone is debating on Goku and whether he's alive or not. Once the vision came around again and Yamcha and the rest have been brought back, the gang is happy to hear Goku is alive but disappointed when he says he doesn't want to come back yet. With that done, the gang goes back to being themselves, just without Goku. About a year later, a lot has changed. Bulma kept her attire from Namek since she's way more comfortable in it. Krillin even told her that Roshi gave her the previous outfit because he wanted to look at her ties, which disgusted her so she's keeping the new outfit. Vegeta also has a new outfit but is constantly off planet seeking for Goku, wanting to know how he got Super Saiyan. Bulma though also wants to know how she got to that level of power she displayed on Namek so she trains on and off and seems to get close but nothing. She does learn how to tap into the power but not sustain it. It got so bad that she got angry at herself this time instead of Riza and managed to transform into a proper Super Saiyan. That got her stoked about it but kept it away from Vegeta for now knowing he will flip his balls that he's the only Saiyan in the gang that didn't attain the form. While Vegeta is not on earth, she works on perfecting the form and gets to the point where she can transform on command. Vegeta comes home again and demanding a meal but Bulma gets him into a shower instead. This time he's not forced to wear a pink shirt and later on learns that Frieza is coming to earth and everyone panics, then rushes to the side of battle. Bulma opts to go and nearly exposes her brand new Super Saiyan but someone else appears instead. A tall man in a clean attire comes by to crash the party. He uses his Super Saiyan to slice through Mecha Frieza and destroy King Cold. Afterwards, he heads towards the Z fighters and asks them to come with him to meet Goku in the outskirts where he will land. With confusion, they go wait for Goku. The whole meet with Trunks and Goku goes pretty similar to canon, so there's no differences there. So three years later, at a battle site, everyone is waiting on the androids to come by. Bulma excuses herself with Vegeta following soon after. Vegeta asks her if she will tell everyone or shall he? But she says not to say anything until it's really noticeable. Gia tells her that her shirt barely covers her baby belly and is concerned about her if anything happens to her. 
She is not stupid and knows that she can't fight while pregnant, but goes just in case. We're continuing the series next time. While you wait for the next part, join the T23 Discord server with the vanity URL down in the description. Thank you for watching, and with that, peace out.